So in this video, I'm going to tell you how having a perfect takeaway is terrible advice for your golf swing. So I'm Jonathan from Chan with Jay Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. So, of course, controversial topic. How can I say having a perfect takeaway is really going to ruin your golf game? It will do if you don't have a standard grip. Because that's where all these videos online talking about perfect takeaways, there's loads of them. I have probably like three of them on my channel. That is for a standard golf grip. So that perfect takeaway for a standard golf grip is where we would see the club head somewhere around the hands here. So ideally covering the hands, square club face matching the spine angle, of course, hands being fairly close and onto that right thigh and having very minimal forearm rotation. So yeah, that's perfect for a standard grip, it is. But we don't all play with standard grips, do we? I see so many players destroying their golf swing if they have, let's say for example, a strong grip by trying to have the perfect takeaway. They find it really hard to do and they don't see the golf ball going any better because of it, they would actually hit the golf ball worse. It all depends on what grip type you have, your grip shapes your whole golf swing on what it needs to look like. If there's a video that says this is the perfect way to swing a golf club, you can guarantee that that is made for a standard grip, that video. So let's dive into and how the takeaway should really look for different grip types. So we've already talked about the standard grip. We know what the perfect takeaway looks like. So let's talk about strong and weak grips. What the takeaway should look like. It's not gonna look perfect one bit, I'll tell you. Now, let's talk about strong first, because that's really the most common area I see golfers make a massive mistake in. Now, often with strong grips, I say it's a first time lesson coming to me, they might often say they really worked quite hard on their takeaway. They said they used to have a little bit of an inside rolly takeaway, and then they changed it to more of a neutral perfect takeaway, and then they hit the ball worse for it. And that's because that rolly inside takeaway is what you need to do with a stronger golf grip. Let's explain it. So. Why that is more of the movement, this roll on the inside movement for a stronger grip, is because of how the left hand is on the golf club and how the right hand is. So when the left hand is more on top of the grip, the palm more on top, which is essentially showing, let's say on a really strong sense, all four knuckles, and that right hand's a little bit more on the side, a little bit kind of almost, you know, in underneath of the palm is either on the side or underneath there, that's gonna encourage the forearm to do this movement more it's going to encourage forearm rotation. So it's going to encourage left forearm to rotate, to pronate, and then technical terms I know, right arm to then supinate a little bit more. It's going to encourage this movement to happen. And then if we do that, it's going to encourage a rolly takeaway. As we said, the club head's going to whip on the inside. It's not going to be matching the hands like this. The hands are going to move out away from me a little bit. But look at the club face. It's nice and square. That's the real thing that matters the most in your takeaway. Is it square? And if it's not, does it square up later in your golf swing in a functional way? I'll just want to see golfers get a square club face. So as we can see, the natural movement the forearms want to do is a rolly one with a strong grip just because of how the hands are placed on the club, how that encourages this movement to happen. We don't want to fight that because if we have that standard takeaway now, the perfect takeaway, where we're kind of resisting a little bit of that forearm rotation. We don't want that to happen. And we want the hands going in, club head to be around the hands. You can see now how shut that club face is. I'm gonna to have to do a lot of work to be able to make that you know, function. I'm most likely gonna come out of my posture, stand up, do something to be able to get the club to re-square again. Or I'm just gonna present so much lean on the shots to open the face up. It's not gonna be functional for the speed of my golf swing. So. If you've got a strong grip, don't worry about it rolling too much or rolling on the inside. Now, I'm gonna say it there, too much. Can it be too much? Yes, it can be too much. Let's say if you're just slightly strong, you've got three knuckles, we wouldn't want it really whipping and rolling in. That's where looking at your golf swing is very advantageous. See what's happening, see if it is getting too much. See how your swing gets up to the top, how you move that shaft up to the top of the backswing. Because here's a good important thing as well. If the takeaway looks a little bit funky, but you get up to the top of the swing in a good spot, it doesn't matter. And then of course, how you move in transition. If your top of the backswing is good, your transition's good, don't worry about your takeaway all too much. As we said, strong grip. Let those forearms roll, it's absolutely fine. 
So let's give it a go with the strong grip here. So with that more rolly type of takeaway. So this is gonna result in me to have a more functional golf swing. I like said at the beginning, your golf swing is dictated from what your grip is. Gotta remember that there's no one way to do it. There is a certain template for what grip you have, but ultimately not one way. Let's do this. So now a weak golf grip. How do we manage a weak golf grip in the takeaway? Because again, our hands are gonna be completely different on the golf club now. Let's say for a, a very kind of standard weak golf grip, let's say I've got one knuckle. So we've got kind of more like a, a John Rahm type of left hand grip. Let's say we've got a weak right hand grip, but I would encourage you not to have a weak right hand grip. I'll pull a card up here for in-depth topic on that. It's really quite damaging to how your right arm moves, all that type of stuff opens up club face even more, of course. So let's say we've just got a standard weak grip. Now, what we want to do here is we want to, my preference would be, again, this club face is actually going to get a little bit on the inside. It's not going to happen for a rolly nature. It's going to happen via adding a little bit more flexion, a little bit more bowing to the left wrist early. Because if we have a weak grip here, guys, we really want to make sure that we are having a square club face. We need to do that via flexing the left wrist. So if you're having more of a flexing bowing type of takeaway move, the club, like we said, is going to go on the inside. The hands might look like they're traveling a little bit further out again, but you can see club is on the inside of the hands there, but that club face is nice and square. So that is the optimal, me as a coach, my preference for seeing someone with a weak grip, I'd want to see them flexing that left wrist straight away. Imagine how far I was wearing a glove, glove logo pointing down towards the ground. It's not going to look like a perfect takeaway. If I had the perfect takeaway here with my weak grip, you're going to see how club face is now open. It's the old square, isn't it? With a toe up pointing up to the sky. So you can see here, hands have gone in. I can see I've got a flat left wrist, minimal forearm rotation. Club is matching my hands, but straight up to the sky. So I'd have to stall out my rotation, flip from there to be able to save it. So again, we want flexion in that left wrist. If we've got a weak grip, I want to see that happening early because it's easier to do it early and maintain it through the swing than trying to really get it into your swing in that faster part of the swing. I just think it's easier to do early. So you're going to notice again, forearms aren't going to rotate. You don't want those forearms to turn. They're not going to want to because of how the hands are placed. They're not really going to want to do this or be able to do it. You want to flex it. You want to flex that left wrist. So differently, a different visual, that's for sure. The real takeaway from this, guys, is making sure that your club face is square. Make sure the club face is square. That's the most important thing, in my opinion, for a takeaway move. So let's hit a ball here. Getting that left wrist flexed. Really, as soon as I start back with that weaker grip, we see all the weak grip guys on tour. Do the same thing. Let's give it a go. So guys, like I said, you have to be so careful when you're watching videos on YouTube. That's why I try my best in my videos to say if a certain movement needs a certain other matchup with it. That if you see the takeaway, for example, so the takeaway in the golf swing, not the food, you need to make sure your grip is in a good spot. You need to make sure that grip matches the takeaway. If it's a perfect takeaway video, it is about a standard grip. So really make sure you're in there with that because you can destroy your golf swing if it's not in the right place. So if you found this video helpful, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So no one perfect takeaway, but there are more preferable ways to take that club back with the different clubs. So let's suit it for your golf swing.